The Jewelry Maker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jewelry designer. Each week, one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their account, and the runner-up receives £50. If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jewelrymaker.com, or you can post your photos to Jewelry Maker Studio, Ivy House, Henley Road, Studley, B80, 7DU, and make sure you don't forget your customer number. Get making and good luck. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Did you know that when you book a Jewelry Maker workshop, you're given exclusive access to our Jewelry Maker shop? You can browse through special items and offers, be privy to selected discounts and deals that you can't get at any other time. Shop whilst you learn and grab yourself some amazing offers. For more information on workshops and available dates, contact our call centre. Welcome, welcome to The Late Show. It is abbreviated. Two hours, you've got us until until 8 o'clock. Uh, we are all, unfortunately, uh, dropping like flies with Lurgy. However, somebody who is in fine fettle, Gem Hawks, she's with me for the next two hours. Good evening. Um, you're well, which is why I'm sitting over here. So, <laughs> so that, far, so good. Well, you know, otherwise <laughs> I'm feeling that we can't, you know, just pass it over. And when I come over, when you're doing your demos, I'm going to just stand a little bit back, but so much. There's lots, isn't there? It's so much. <laughs> Look how much jewellery gem is. You've made so much. How many rings? Is that a record? Um, I think it might be, actually. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven. Hang on. Hang four, on a second. Eight. eight ten. Ten rings. Ten rings and then the hair comb. Yes. And then those beautiful, those bracelets are amazing. Look at those gorgeous shell pearls. I'm in love with those. Look at that bracelet. That's amazing. It's not so difficult much to make beautiful things with such beautiful kits. They're you gorgeous. have got gorgeous, gorgeous kits uh, with the uh, Swarovski, the wire, the shell pearls, mm -hmm. um, more head pins than you can shake a big stick at. I used every single did one. Good I did, girl. I had to, which is why there's quite a, quite it's a lot of pieces. <laughs> Absolutely fabulous stuff. Looking forward to seeing that. So we've got um, a kit in the first hour with you. We've got a kit in the second hour. And Gemma's going to take us through some kind of mini demos because we're with you for the two hours. We go off there at eight o'clock tonight. Um, lots to squeeze in. Let me show you star buys. These are gorgeous and bright, aren't they? Vivid, vivid, vivid. Individual or as a striking focal point. They're coming up for us. We've got some beautiful big pearls as well. Some outstanding big pearls and lots and lots more to squeeze in for you. So, where do you want to start, Tom? Oh my gosh, I've just seen this necklace. Sorry. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Wow. That is absolutely, that is a wow fact necklace. How many of these have we got? 79. Can we put this up for pre-order? Okay, look at this. Now, 
having commissioned a charm bracelet in the exact same link. Okay, uh, three years ago, I commissioned a charm bracelet. We had 500 in one auction. They all sold out in the first auction. That's out, on, on and gone. Um, we now got this in the necklace. Now, let me just show you. Look at that beautiful, precious link. Now, it's graduated. Now, I've never seen that before. Look at the smaller links, all interlinking. Look how it gets larger and larger and larger down throughout that, all the way down to the focal point in the bottom. Now, that is something to work. I've got 79 chances, over 10 grams of solid sterling silver. Um, it's going to weigh about 7.45. Looking forward to that. Let's get started, though, with... They're coming now. They're coming now. Uh, we've got some Labradorite nuggets coming your way. Thanks so much, hon. Good. Thank you. So we've got some Labradorite nuggets coming your way. And you're definitely seeing these almost in a more sort of natural tumbled state, aren't you? You've got the greys, you've got the cocky greens. Look at that one just down here. Can you see? Oh, you're not seeing what I'm seeing in the studio. Sorry. There's a lovely amount of labradorescence coming through this strand. But the light just... Can you see? There we go. Light's hitting it. Boom. There's that beautiful blue. Now, all of them have got either a subtle grey or a gold or a blue or an ultraviolet. But what you do need to make sure that is you, you know that they're totally natural. They're not coated. These are totally natural. You've got your drop style nuggets, 8 by 8 to 17 by 12 on a 38 centimetre strand. They are all natural. You've got the metallics of that shiller. You've got the... Every Everything that a gorgeous labradorite should bring you, this will bring. Make sure you check it out and confirming as soon as you can, though. 0800 644 It does give you a chance to work with your labradorites in a slightly different way. And again, I've just twisted that up in the lights in the studio. I'm just wondering if this one here will light up down the camera as much as it just did in the studio. It's beautifully ethereal, isn't it? Just see them catching the light, coming alive, their own little distinctive way. Make sure that you're checking out on these 38 centimetre strands, 17 by 12 to 8 by 8 mil. They are beautiful. They are, again, genuine Madagascan Labradorites. All the way through on that strand. Madagascar, <laughs> what? $3.95 on your screen for a strand of beautiful, genuine gemstones that have phenomena, that have that everything that you want from it. The shiller, the labradorescence, the genuine... Go and again, look at, like I was saying earlier to you about the, um, the sort of natural and enhanced sapphires that we had, the, uh, the pink nugget sapphires. It's almost like seeing what the prospectors would, you know, who, who were prospecting for the Labradorite in those alluvial mines would see amongst the pebbles, you know, the kind of old gravel that you've got at the bottom of the riverbed. It's what they would see, that shiller. 3 95 Hi, Jeanette. Hi, Veronica. Hello to Samina. Hi, Chloe. Hello, Collectors in Gloucestershire. Hello to Collectors in Greater London. Well done indeed to you. Hold those lines. Anonymous Collectors in Gloucester. Hold the line. Stay where you are. Numbers on your screen. Make sure that you're checking out. Please feel free to multi-buy on these if you want to with that sort of price point as well. Hold those lines. Well done. Now, this is fab. Now, in readiness for February's birthstone, of course, it's your amethyst. And I know I, I, Christmas hasn't even been and gone. I was listening to the radio this morning and somebody messaged, no, it was this afternoon actually, on my drive up, um, my five hour drive up to work. Um, it was, uh, somebody had phoned in to say that uh, they were a truck driver and they'd just delivered huge, huge pallets of Easter eggs to a supermarket. You know, you just go, <sighs> That'll be the next thing. That'll be the next thing. It does not stop, does it? So, you're thinking, and you're going, oh my gosh, we haven't had Christmas yet, Ray, and you're already talking about February. I know. But, for those of us that are ahead of the game, for those of us who are making our jewellery in advance for those fabulous craft fairs that will be coming up in the new year, and you want a really substantial amethyst, I mean, look at the size of it. First, I'm going to pop a hand behind it, just to give you an idea of the deep plum saturation 
that you are getting from this, the glossiness. Um, I also want to just see if I can get a little bit of light behind this. So bear with me two seconds. I'm just going to uh, use the torch on my phone and just bring, just so I can show you. Now that's what I want you to see because you weren't seeing that. Isn't that, now that just totally transformed the appearance of it because that's what we're seeing in the studio yet down the camera lens we weren't seeing that were we Jen? Most definitely it's so beautiful when you give it that little bit of illumination mm. so as well as jewellery I mean my heart would be to go for jewellery but wouldn't it make an amazing window decor item? Oh yeah it would with the light pouring mm. through it yeah really would you get that if for those of you of course who love your crystal healing you'd get that energy from it then as well the natural sunlight pouring through that now you've got a really big connector point and I have to say as well do you know what's lovely is the connector can you see how with the light behind the connector almost acts like the cleft in the heart it's not too long it doesn't go all the way through that amethyst does it it just works at the top of the cleft almost as if it's part of the faceting and the polishing of that now you see I'm taking that um, the, the light away <coughs> excuse me and you can see the depth of that saturation but when you've got this say for example on a long chain and it's moving around on your neckline and it's moving around on top of a sweater or a shirt and the light is pouring through it you're going to see what i'm seeing which is the feathers and the jardins and the beauty of that natural and enhanced amethyst 30 by 29 millimeters that you're getting there 80 carats in total uh, beautifully bold i'm going to turn to the side now, as you know, we've already spoken, because we were talking to Claire earlier, weren't we? And she was saying about the druzy um, pendants that she'd taken the connector point out. Now, if you wanted to take the connector point out, you absolutely could with a bit of uh, sort of pressure on that, a little bit of oomph and your pliers, you could. But thinking about maybe using that with your, you know, sh you know shibori and your seed bead embroidery, 895 it's a dramatic amethyst heart, isn't it? It is a dramatic amethyst heart. 0800 655. Big look, dramatic, glossy, beautifully polished and totally and utterly saturated. Christine's multi-buying, gorgeous stuff. Margaret's multi-buying. Kimberly and Aberdeenshire, well done, my lovely. Anonymous collectors, you're there. Well, well done indeed to you. Now, I imagine if you do sell a lot of your jewellery, this is going to be one that might feature quite heavily in your, or on your, I should say, your craft stall, um, or whether it's in a gallery or a craft fair. And I would imagine this, this sort of look would give you repeat custom, don't you think? Definitely, it's something that you can become known for, your genuine mm. gemstones, amongst all the other bits and pieces that you're able to mm. bring it's, forth. It's a lovely but, I mean, one. That is a gorgeous piece. Can you imagine crafting that into a ring? Yeah, An absolutely. 80 carat amethyst in a ring. I mean, I would. Definitely, it's big and bold and beautiful. Definitely. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Vivid greens next. And well done if you've got that amethyst. Beautiful. Really lovely vivid greens coming away next, and every one of them individual, every single one of them. You've got that marking, that striation, that linear sort of feel to every single one of them. And we've got a random round in there for some reason. That must have uh, been scooped up accidentally. Um, you won't necessarily get uh, a random round in your strand. <laughs> Just to confuse me, was it? <laughs> um, you've got all those, they are some of the most electric greens you're going to get. If you imagine, if... Um, if your chrome diopside was um, opaque, this is the colour that it would exude, isn't it? This is the colour that would literally just come alive every time you saw it. And yet, yeah, you've got those patterns, those markings that make each, every one of them individual. 84 centimetre strand, 370 carats of malachite, uh, or, well, wait until you see this price. Yeah, under five pounds for you, under five pounds, and so it's an unmistakable gemstone. You don't mistake this gemstone for any others when you see those gorgeous bands and the striations and the linear build, excuse me, <coughs> of this gorgeous gemstone. 0800 644 655, number that you need to be dialing and adding that to your order, surely, 
Once you know that all you're paying is that one P and P. Hi Julie, hi Chloe and Susan. Clicks in Bristol, Veronica and Essex, well done, Mal Dubai. Gorgeous stuff. Do make sure that you are checking out and confirming though as soon as you possibly can on that one. Just three ninety five only for genuine malachite. Now I've seen strands of malachite in this building for over thirty pounds. So when you're getting the nuggets, when you're getting those chips of your malachite and it's under five pounds, snatch that up as soon as you can. Hold those lines, well done. Well done. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Okay, so. These are just simple, elegant and understated. Now these, you get three in the pack. They could be linked together beautifully. You know the kit that we had with Claire that had the solid studding silver wire, your jump rings, it had the connectors, it had the findings pack, and all sorts of gauges of solid studding silver wire. Um, if you are working with that, and again, three of them in the pack, so they could all be connected together, of course they could be. You could have it in a drop, you could have it across the wrist, or just individually in a neckline piece, what you've got, so it's the appearance of a Russian wedding band, not with the Trinity colours, so there's no Trinity colour here, but it's the illusion, if you like, of three interlocking bands, which stand for love, loyalty and friendship. So not only have you got a really classic look here, but you've got a lovely, lovely idea behind it as well. So when you're making your jewellery, and especially if you're making for friends or family or commissioning a very, very special piece, that is something to take into consideration, the meaning of those links. You're getting three in the pack, eight millimetres. They've got the two connector points either side, straight down to your price point. At 4 95 4 95 on your screen, solid stunning silver. And again, thinking about the stash that you've already got from us today, think about the stash that you've already got at home, and thinking then about how you're going to be working with these in 2018. Are you stepping up your jewellery making in 2018? Are you moving from working with your plated wires through to your, you know, your precious metals, and you want components that are going to lift that up just as much? $4.95 is the price that you need to pay to be able to get that home into. And it is a New Year stash. Can I just say, if I just move... <laughs> just look, just look, if I just come back. New Year tash. <laughs> you trying to tell me something? <laughs> New Year tash. <laughs> it's, my, it's my Adam's apple that gives it away. That's what it is, and my five o'clock shadow, and my shave rash. <laughs> <laughs> All the lights. You're lucky I've known you for a long time. I oh, know, I know. Right. Wow. What did you call this? Why? Okay. Some of the earthiest tones that you will have ever seen in a tourmaline strand. But not just that. Do you remember the tourmalines we had for you earlier on today? They were the classic rondelles. Not a lot of clarity. This has... Some of these have got some of the most amazing diaphanity that I've seen. Absolutely exceptional. Now, if you think about the colours that you're seeing travelling through here, the golds, the tawny tones, the caramels, the sort of move on into the khakis and the almost Cuprian green that you've got going on here as well. <coughs> Excuse me. You get a chance to experience clarity in our tourmalines. Now, in Rondells, I'm going to be honest with you, that doesn't normally happen. But when you get clarity, and I'm going to show it close up, look at these golds, champagnes and caramels. Can you see why it's lustring like that? Can you see why you're getting flashes of pleochroism and dichroism in there? It's because of the clarity of them. Now, normally, bearing in mind, okay, there's only one form of your tourmaline that is expected to have clarity, and that's your greens. Everything else is type 2 and type 3. So 
everything else on this strand, apart from some of the greens, are a type two. They are expected to have inclusions. It is acceptable to have feathers. It is acceptable to have your jardins within there. But these colours are some of the earthiest tones I think that I have ever, ever seen. Now, bearing in mind, you know, I've got lines and lines of names waiting to take uh, this beautiful strand home. And I would imagine it's a very... It's, it, if you've seen cognac zircon at its best, with a body of colour that is deeply saturated and really exciting to see, I'm not talking about the fire of a zircon, that's a different aspect of the gemstone, but the colour of zircon, the, oh, that is like every cognac, every brandy, every rich, warm whiskey, with an amazing price point. Make sure you're checking that out, won't you? Hi to, ta uh, to uh, Tatiana, to Claire, to Donna, to Michelle in Surrey, to Anonymous Collectors, multi-buying going on as well. Absolutely gorgeous. There's some exceptional deep and mouth-watering tones in there, aren't there? They are absolutely delicious, and I'm loving the sort of almost imperial mm. tones to them as well. Mm -mm -mm. I've not seen tourmaline quite like that before. No, it's, really it's exceptional, glorious. isn't it? And as you say, it's very warming. It is very. I love that um, association that you just made there with the imperial topaz. Mm especially some of the best imperial topaz out there, that sort of proper golden tone. Absolutely. Nothing yeah. wishy-washy about that, is there? No, it's really beautiful. Mm. Well done, everyone. Loads of you checking out on that, which is gorgeous to see. Do make sure that you're checking out and confirming, though, won't you? Make sure you're checking out and confirming. Gorgeous stuff. Hold those lines. Well done. Now, these... Oh, in... yeah, I've got them. They're very good. Now, Bilch Goch Gotta. Bilch Goch Gotta. It means little red cow. But that's what we call a ladybird in Welsh. Oh, I know. Do you know the literal translation for strawberries from Swedish is little earthman? Jordgubber mm. or something very mm. similar to that. I forget the exact word. Little earthman. See, it's earthman. <laughs> <laughs> Strange, isn't it? I love these. Little red cow. <laughs> that's what Bilch... So Bilch is cow. Goch is a koch is red and then gata means sort of compact and small Aww. so little i don't know why it's referred i've never seen a flying red cow have you <laughs> me neither only after a few mulled wines <laughs> and a couple of gins and a few tequila chasers um they are pretty i like these a lot ladybugs they are so popular aren't they I love the enamelling as well. It's very well done. Lovely and bright, very fluid. Um, there's no kind of moment where the enamel dissipates at all. It's very vibrant. It's got that lovely gloss to it. You can see there you've got that lovely symmetry as well for the, uh, the little black dots on their wings. And then, of course, you've got the black enamelling just at the top here. Now I'm going to show you the post and the butterfly. Let me just pop those between the tweezers there. So the post is at the top of the ladybug, uh, the ladybug, little ladybird with the butterfly. So that's going to sit at the ear and drop. But they are cute. My niece and my goddaughter would absolutely adore these. Really, really cute. And it's not necessarily just for kids either. They are really lovely, almost kind of um, kitsch style earring. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, eight hundred six triple four six five five. Solid sterling silver with love, and the quality of the enamel is important. It really is important. You can get really shoddy enameling. This is not of that grade. This is great quality. It's fluid. It doesn't dissipate. It doesn't fade. You can see it's got the continued thickness all the way over the top of the enamel. It doesn't move. Can you see what I mean? Can you see you haven't got any lumpiness in the enamel? It's just nice and smooth because the consistency of the enamel is, of, you know, it really is beautifully symmetrical all the way through it. Make sure that you are checking out and confirming as soon as you can on these. Last of stock, five ninety five. That's a bargain, isn't it? That's absolutely fantastic. And you're so oh. right to talk about the quality of mm. the enameling. I've been dealing with charms that are enameled and yeah. plain for several yeah. years. And sometimes you'll receive something that is just so appallingly put together. Yeah, yeah. But these I had are a couple, of the, a couple of those instances. I created, um, we were asked for uh, geckos. Uh -huh. And I asked for a gecko charm to be commissioned. When it came in, 
it looked like a car had run over it for a start. It was, it went, it was sent straight back. It was never, And there was also a soldier charm that came through. It yeah. literally looked as if it had been run over by a tank. Oh, bless But it. the enamelling was all over the place. It was it was awful. It never went to wear. You know, there was no way that was... Really, no. But that quality is important. It absolutely is. And when we say this is enamelling, it's enamelling. Because people will use paints. They yes, will use a different kind yeah, of they paint. Will. They'll yeah. even use nail varnish out there in the world yeah. and these things will come to you and you'll be so disappointed mm. but you know what you're mm. getting well especially for the price of 595 mm. you maybe expect like you know a little bit of a catch but there isn't any uh, you've also got a 30-day money-back guarantee of course karen malden indeed to you my lovely pam lynn veronica diane amanda multi-buying going on hello to panam well done anonymous collectors you're there lovely to see you tonight do make sure that you are checking out and confirming on these amazing value for money really are very cute really lovely Hold those lines. Maybe if you took delivery of some of our um, fantastic um, packaging boxes that we had for you for the run-up to Christmas. You know, the red with the sort of the gold spots or maybe the Merry Christmas sort of rustic looking ones. Uh, maybe you're looking for a piece of jewellery to go in there to gift at Christmas or maybe into the new year when you're getting together with family and friends after. It's a, it's a lovely, lovely pair of earrings. Just make sure that you're checking out. Excuse me. <coughs> <coughs> Do excuse me. Right, uh, popcorn chain, my love, did you say? Ah, yeah, we had the bracelet that matched this earlier. It's fabulous. I'm going to show you this and I'm going to have some water, so to, just bear with me. I'm going to just show you the, the magnetic clasp first. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Now, if you remember the bracelet we had for you in the uh, in the mid show, um, I forgot to mention that it is an Italian made popcorn chain solid stunning silver bracelet. Why is that so important? Um, in Arezzo, in uh, Italy. It's the hub and the centre of goldsmiths and silversmiths. It's kind of where everybody looks to and then, of course, take their sort of designs up to Vicenza to uh, sort of you know, show off to the rest of the world. Um, when it's made, and it's made as beautiful as this, you can see the links. The links are so beautifully put together. The symmetry is beautiful. But also what's gorgeous is this fabulous magnetic clasp now again if you have got a pacemaker we do not advise that you uh, purchase our magnetic clasp because they're very very strong they are very very strong you can have that at the front of the neckline couldn't you that doesn't need to be at the back of the neckline do you want to see it on should we pop it onto the neckline just show you how easy it is i love the magnetic clasp because they eradicate necklace face necklace face when you're at home on your own yeah, you know what I mean, but this just gets rid of necklace face. It banishes it to where it should belong, quite frankly. Look as if you're trying to do face yoga. <laughs> My husband's a lucky man. <laughs> Have a look at that. Got a lovely way where that be. See, can you just see? It's just attached to my mic cable. Just two seconds. There we go. Isn't it made beautifully? That's, That's lovely, isn't it? And it sits so perfectly just in the hollow of doesn't the neck. Doesn't it? Very love the earrings. Mm, definitely. In the super sternum notch, 17 inches in length, solid sterling silver at 17.95. Just make sure that you are checking out and confirming as soon as you can. Now, if you got the bracelet earlier, you will get a beautiful suite of jewellery that um, will really look very expensive and also if you think about the fact that you've got that lovely heart design you could stamp onto that actually if you wanted to and I'm just gonna whip this off I don't want to pull I don't wanna, no don't do necklace face there we go um, so just gonna show you how that goes together and it kind of just finds itself anyway but look and then you just literally pop that into place Seventeen ninety-five. Make sure that you're checking out and confirming on that. Such an amazing price with the magnetic clasp as well. Really high-end gift for not a high-end price. Talk to the call centre, confirm as soon as you can. Well done. Now we've got those really vibrant, vivid agate bars for you next. Look at these. Striking design on each and every one of these. That is a head turner or individual moments where you just say, wow, and they're a star buy up next.
Now we've had um, some amazing purple agate and blue agate bars, but they kind of were graduated kind of in a length like this, which was extremely, extremely head turning. And maybe for not, not for everybody, you know, when you kind of kind of go, do you know what? I can see X, Y, Z wearing that, but it might not be for me. The lovely thing about us here at JM, I think, is that we give you just a little soup on a little, a uh, little sort of idea of what it could be like. This in its own right is head turning when it's all set together. However, you could just choose to have one and then use others as earrings. It doesn't have to be the full shebang, but they do look like oil on water paintings. Look at the way the blue color just literally spills throughout the striations of the agate. Isn't it mesmerizing? fingerprints or a map of the ocean where yeah. coral atolls exist and some of them almost look animal print like which is always good absolutely we never say no to a little bit of animal print um, you can see a really electric blue color coming through here it's delightful I mean mm -hmm. agate takes the color so perfectly yeah definitely the glossiness of it is fantastic as well. Now, obviously, you know, you could go to town on these. I know that I know Jem has, Deb Rudge has with us here on The Late Show. Um, when we've had graduated bars, maybe of white shell, for example, or where we've had the purple agate bars. And um, you've both worked with them in such different ways, tasseling them on chain. But, I mean, the, the opportunities here, it's not just to use it as this graduated bar would sort of, uh, it, sort of you know, expect. Absolutely. I mean, you could have a whole series of individual rings, each with slightly yes, sort of graduating. Absolutely great. And idea. you may find that perhaps one person will want a really statement piece from the centre, and then they'll like a more diminutive one, but in the same design, so yeah. that they can sort of size it up for the evening. Lovely idea. I really like lovely. with these kind of bars when you've got the thirteen or the twenty-one to turn them into little angels. So you would keep the three longest centerpieces in a fan design at the bottom yeah. and then everything else you invert, obviously you okay. destrand it first and that acts as the wings coming oh, up. Oh wow! I've made them a couple of times so I'll, if, if you wish to see them let me know and I'll find an image for you. Oh and fantastic, I'm intrigued page. by that, I've never seen you do Have that. Have you not? Okay. No, love I will to have a nosy at your Facebook page. I will find an image. Fabulous. Um, <laughs> 4655 80 carats of blue black agate graduated layout bars at 495 now it's got to be said when and I and I will just sort of whip this up to the neckline for you because obviously it, it, we've graduated and it's there for you but with a Christmas sweater it's particularly fetching I find <laughs> <laughs> but Holidays literally were made for these Caribbean blues, weren't they? Oh, most definitely. Also, uh, invert them, create a tiara with them, yeah, splay them out idea. slightly, mm. add a few tiara twisted pearls around it. You get quite an oceanic feel. Gorgeous Great for festivals. idea. Beachy Little, weddings, even. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> uh, Diane, well done. Stella, well done. Collectors in Denbyshire. Uh, hello to Wanda, to Louise. Hello to Collectors in Midlothian. Greater London, County Durham, well done. In the Highlands, Greater London. Lovely, lovely stuff. Make sure that you are checking out and confirming. Brand new in stock today. These are for you. Brand new back in stock. 0800 644 655. If you want to get involved on the phone lines, of course. Jewelrymaker.com. 30 day money back guarantee from the day that you. You receive your delivery and one shipping and handling charge for the entire day. It, they are gorgeous. Each of those is individual, is unique. You've really head-turning, beautiful design. So many of you there. Hi, Neela. Hello to Clips in Greater London. Well done indeed to you. Hello to Josephine. Hello to Catherine. Well done. Hold the lines. Well done. Gorgeous stuff. Now, let me very quickly show you your pearls that are coming up. These are nice, aren't they? Really, really nice. Oh, Tom, these are fabulous. Look at these. Oh, wow. Big size, aren't they? They're very striking. Mm. Beautiful, I love that silky luster. Yeah, well, they're not, they're not too um, satin ringed, are they? That's what's no. delightful about them. They're coming up. Baraka pearls coming away very, very soon indeed. Looking forward to that. Uh, we're going to move on to... <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, I think I got them. These ones. 
Okay, these, yeah. Now, this says earring bales for crystal. Okay. Now, I don't think that they do just need to be used with our Swarovskis at all, do they? Not in the slightest. I mean, obviously, that pin is going to work beautifully with the crystal. We, call, we usually refer to them as the pendants. That's right. So it's got the drill hole at the top, yes. and you're going to literally hook it on, and it's going to hang beautifully in place and drop down, isn't it? It will work yeah. absolutely perfectly, because that pin is smooth, and it's designed to work with yes. that Yes, and there's size. enough space as well. If you mm -hmm. look between the actual setting of the earring finding and the uh, silver hook behind, to be able to make sure that that, whether it's a navette yes. or whether it's one of, you know, the, the whatever else we've got. I mean, we've got, these are more cabochon ones that we've got in the kit, aren't they? But something like that with a drill hole in it that yes. suspends and sits in and then drops down. It will be perfect. However, so <coughs> many more Excuse things me. could be used mm. on that because mm -hmm. you could use it very simply as a hook. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. And then the world's your oyster, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, absolutely. And I think as well, just being able to almost have almost like interchangeable earrings. If you have maybe drop earrings just on a head pin with a little loop, and mm -hmm. then you can just change those to suit your fancy. Well, one of the techniques that we're going to look at later, which is uh, part and parcel of the cluster designs, yeah. you, if you have a series of those made up, you could, as you say, interchange them Lovely. because the whole size would be perfect for the pin. Fabulous. Fab, fab, fab. Um, solid stunning silver. It's not often that we get solid stunning silver in the findings kits with the Swarovskis and, and with our sort of your shell pearls. More often than not, they are the brass with the gold overlay or copper with the gold overlay. So when we've got the solid stunning silver findings, it's taking your Swarovski to another level when you're using these to go with the Swarovski with the drill hole at the top. But like myself and Jen were just saying, they are not just for that. And I've got to say, loving that look, it's really lovely it's mm. shape wise isn't it it's smooth it's elegant it kind of draws the eye to the design definitely and they really do like that that is going to anchor in place that's not going anywhere is it definitely and i can also think that if you had two piercings on one side multi buy them and then you could drop chain from yeah, you one could. to the next lovely that would idea look quite pretty really nice idea quite contemporary mm. as well quite kind of edgy there 295 on your screen do make sure you're checking out um, it is solid stunning silver so you are getting a pair of quite large size 12 by 30 millimeters actually solid stunning silver um, I'm, I know it says silver earring bales for crystal I'm gonna say it they are very glamorous shepherd's hooks with an added extra bonus of being able to suspend from this hook area you could even if you didn't want to you could literally with a pair of pliers pinch that hook in and make that into a loop and then it's nice and secure and nothing's going anywhere then is it if that's your preference yeah. absolutely yes you could sort of do that more permanently mm. but they're really fine. lovely and such a great price there's a lot of silver in that isn't there Definitely. Collects in Dorset, well done, Linda's multi-buying. Collects in Lincolnshire, Kelly in Belfast. I don't know, in Somerset, excuse me. <coughs> excuse me. Hello to uh, Aaliyah in New York, Josephine. Hello to Jane, hello to Fiona, hello to Collectors in Great London. If you, have you got a strepsil going, Tom? Oh, my. Literally, my hero today. Um, while Tom's doing that, I'm, I'm getting the green hammer thing. <laughs> While I'm getting the green amethyst to show you, can I just show you? So, um, lots of you know my obsession with uh, Dick Van Dyke and, and um, Mary Poppins. Look Aww. what I had for Christmas from a certain producer who's handing me a straps in right now. Thank you, my lovely. Oh, that's really lovely. Not only do I get the gift of non-sore throat and a strapsil from you, I get the gift of Mary Poppins. You're practically perfect in every way, Tom. <laughs> I love it. Fab, fab, fab. Thank you, my lovely. I do apologise, but these must. <laughs> right. These are a beautiful, beautiful high end clarity green amethyst, without a doubt. Wowzers. The mint green. This reminds me of ambligonite. If you've seen the manka ambligonite, if you've seen that kind of aqueous glow. Mm mm mm. Green amethyst coming to you from Alto Uruguay in Brazil, 65 carats. The exceptional clarity of these means that the light is traveling through and they are literally gleaming. 
Can you see the, the reflection on the skin of that sort of soft pastel green? 65 carats of green amethyst, 6 by 4 to 9 by 6 mil on an 18 centimetre strand. Now you can see the quality of that amethyst. It speaks for itself. Now, spaced in between, we've just got some um, sort of little, almost like little Mayuki beads, I guess. But actually set like that, if you imagine with little rice pearls, that would be beautifully dainty, wouldn't it? That would be absolutely mm. stunning. And I can't take my eyes off the facet work on these beads. It's They're glorious. They're impressive, aren't they? Really, really impressive. Now, I'm going to just move them up and down on the hand just so you get a chance to see that sparkle. Because it has got the most beautiful mint green sparkle. Now... Sometimes they can be oversaturated, sometimes they can be undersaturated. But what I think we can all agree on here is the tone, the saturation, the sparkle of these is absolutely spot on. 0800 644 655, number that you need to be dialing. If we're not closing at 1695, you need to be on those phone lines quicker than you can blink. You've got a different variety of February's birthstone ready to be with you, ready to be worked on, ready to be commissioned for those that want to buy their February birthstone. And quite a dramatic strand of it as well. 1695 on your screen, make sure you're checking out. We are not stopping at that price for you. 0800 644 655. <laughs> yes, please. That is fabulous, isn't it? That's absolutely amazing. Something that I have to say, it does say that they're rondelles, mm. but that perfect ratio of 6x4 to 9x6, it gives you a slightly a, a chubbier Yeah, absolutely. And that allows it to really glow and perform to the best of its capacity. I've genuinely not seen green amethyst this way. It's beautiful. The only sort of green amethyst that I've seen recently has been quite large pear drops, but they had quite a number of inclusions in them. Yes, which are beautiful. Absolutely, but not, not as eye clean and not as, almost I want to say, sort of high-end jewellery acceptable as these are. I totally agree yeah, with you. They are Most lovely, definitely. Aren't they? I mean, I would lovely. make every single one of those into a feature <laughs> cocktail ring. They're glorious. They I are would beautiful. want to see that all the time. Yeah, it, the sparkle <laughs> factor on these is amazing. And for 9.95, it's an absolute dream. So on the strand, you've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24 on the strand for 9.95. Works out about 41 pence per beautiful pastel green. Hold those lines, make sure you're checking out on those. They are gorgeous, really lovely. Now then. <laughs> Three and totally perfect. And they really are. They're simple, they're understated, but they're beautiful. Now, designing the charm so that the connector point sits on the bracelet and it sort of literally flutters by like this on a bracelet is very very clever because you just literally you're going to pop that onto your jewelry elastic or you're going to pop that onto a connector and you're going to have that in a beautiful setting it might be on a it might that might just be a simple pendant hanging off one of our fabulous chains if you just got our 16 inch solid sterling or 17 inch solid sterling silver chain and you are looking to have that as the connector point on it, just as a simple pendant. The butterfly, it, with all due respect to anybody out, unicorns are the thing of the moment. But unicorns will be a flash in the pan. They will be, because next year apparently it's mermaids. But when have your butterflies ever gone out of fashion? They just haven't, have they? They haven't. Not everybody's going to want unicorns next year. It'll be, oh, we've done it. It's a little bit like when owls and foxes, you know, over the last few years. Anchors. <laughs> no, I love you, Leah. <laughs> Leah's wearing a, cover, a jumper covered in anchors. I just thought, you know, I know. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> but, like everything, it all comes back around. But butterflies, they never go out of fashion. Never go out of fashion. Like dragonflies, fairies. Even I'd go as far as saying as your birds as well. Some people are quite superstitious about wearing birds on clothing. I'd never realised this before. I don't know if it's just swallows or, or mm. all birds. But yes, you're absolutely right. Yeah, some I people will avoid know. it. Mm. I met quite someone recently who was like, no, don't, I won't, I won't, I won't wear it. Okay. <laughs> But butterflies know. are amazing because they're such an emotive design and they idea. Are. It's yeah. an era of newness, isn't it? Absolutely. Rebirth. And all ages. You know, my, my niece, who is seven, 
you know, has butterfly bedding. My niece who is 13 has got, you know, butterflies on a jumper. Aww. Then you've got my niece who's 16 who will wear butterfly motifs or have mm -hmm. it on a bag. They just never go out of date, do they? No, I don't think so. 6 95 on your screen. Three of them, solid stilling silver. Leah's going to punch me later. <laughs> <laughs> she will no, not. I, she knows. She just, she won't punch. She'll just literally trip me up on the way out. <laughs> oh, you tripped over a, you tripped over a cable, Ray. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't help you. I was too busy admiring my anchor t-shirt. <laughs> oh, don't put your... Honestly, 6.95 on your screen. Hello to Janet, hello to Christine, to Lorna, to Wendy. Hello to Janet in Greater Manchester, Janet in Derbyshire, collector in Wiltshire, anonymous collectors. Well, well done. They are very, very pretty. You're going to love those. Great value for solid stilling silver as well. Really, really pretty. Enjoy those. Looking forward to seeing your designs with those in. Very much. If you press your button once, well done. Wow. Oh, my gosh, these are juicy. Now, these are fab. Now, they're massive as well, aren't they? They are absolutely huge. My goodness, but I don't think I've actually seen carnelians in rounds as large as these. These are 12 mil. I am in love with those colours. It's beautiful, mm. isn't it? I'd love to see the variation in carnelian. It's such a warm, giving, loving stone. It really is. Some of those amazing cut. Look at those reds, amber tones, champagne tones. And that one just at, just past six o'clock with a real white glow. Isn't that stunning? They are amazing. And again, if you just look, you I don't know whether you can see the striations down the camera lens, but there's definitely almost like little satins. Can you see? Oh, how lovely. Just really subtle. And really individual. Love those. Absolutely gorgeous. These um, are natural. They're running hard, which is lovely about it. 370 carats that you're getting. 1095. 1095. 1095. 1095. Gone lower? Lower. Lower. 595. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you're taking it and confirming as soon as you can. Honestly, the fact that I've got the word tash behind my head for most of the show tonight <laughs> is hilarious. <laughs> 595 on your screen. Do make sure that you're checking that and confirming. Don't you get close up on that. Don't you dare, <laughs> Leah. And so do you. I can see she's just lined up. She's like, I can just hear the zoom going. Mm. Right, star buy up next for you. Don't go anywhere. Those beautiful pearls, they're up next. These have got some really beautiful secondary tones. Really beautiful. There are lovely signs as well. What I love about these, there are Baroque pearls. So you get, they're all of a similar shape and size, but none of them will be identical at all. But also, um, there's very few satin rings around them. So very few sort of indentations. Sometimes you can buy a Baroque pearl and it's almost like it's wearing a corset where the, um, the satin rings kind of cinch it in a little bit in the middle. Well, these do not have those satin rings. So what you get is pure surface pearlescence. And it is a shocking high pearlescence that we're getting, isn't it? It's very, very beautiful, very bright. Mm -mm. White freshwater cultured baroque pearls, or barocco, of course, as uh, Coco Chanel used to call them, uh, nine by eight millimeters. Now, some of these have got um, quite a nice flat underside to them, so they, they sit nice and flat. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna show you what I mean by that, so I can show you that if you were to work with these just in a simple stretchy bracelet, you can see the flat underside, they're almost domed, and you can see where they sit beautifully on the wrist. Nice and comfortable as well. But also because they've got that almost sort of side drill going on, the centre drill, rather than being at the top or rather than coming through the, the vertical length of it, it means that you've got that cheek-to-cheek -cheek setting 
all the way through the bracelet. So if you were to put a nice sort of solid sterling silver clasp on this, uh, re-thread it, of course, using your solid sterling silver findings and your clasp, I think you've got a really high-end appearance, beautiful piece of jewellery there. Really quite, the secondary tones are amazing. So in the studio, there is a ton of secondary tone pink and turquoise coming out from underneath the top layer of the nacre, the top layer of that pearlescence. Nice and sizable as well. Now, um, anything over nine mil, of course, is your luxury pearls. That's what we do need to remember. And these are nine by eight, so you still have that luxury size. Now, they're not too over the top, but they are definitely noticeable, aren't they? Quite classic. Oh, 800 644 uh, Hello to Marilyn, hello to David, hello to Pat, to Stella, to Jill, to Caroline, to Helen, to Sarah, to Anonymous Collectors. Well done if you've pressed your button once. 6 Absolutely feel free to multi-buy on those as much as you would like to. Oh, 800 644 Again, you may have bought many, many a strand of pearls from us here at JM. Again, you, you just don't get tired of the quality, the nacre, the pearlescence, the size, or the price. Candice, make sure that you're checking out my lovely. Jill, you need to check out. Caroline, you need to check out. Helen in Suffolk, you need to check out. Sarah in Wiltshire, you need to check out. Anonymous Collectors, you need to check out as well. Please do. Everybody else, checking out. Well done. If you press your button once, go for it. They're a lovely size, aren't they? So when you've got something very, very similar, I have a very similar strand of pearls, which was um, what formed the very festive feeling little bangle. No, look at that! So if I just turn that over slowly, you can see how on the underside I've set the slightly flatter bottoms. Yes, that's And then right. wired underneath as well. Gorgeous! And what that means is that the pearls tend to not spin too much. So they're really useful in wire work as well Definitely, as in your classic designs. Yeah. I'm, I'm sorry, I was just looking at the <laughs> television screen to see the... I love the Christmas tree. Is it, where's the little um, holly leaf? It's gorgeous. Oh, yes, of course it is. I can see now because you've got the uh, little berries just there. Yes, I'm loving the little <laughs> Lovely. I love that. That's really pretty. Oh, thank it's you. Like snow on the ground and the little holly leaves there. Yeah, that Very was the pretty. idea. <laughs> Do make sure you're checking out on those pearls. Hold the lines, talk to the call centre. Really important. Well done for those of you who are checking out. Well, well done. Now then, the next that we have is a last of stock pendant. Now this, this is quite substantial actually. Have a look at this. Wow. Ooh. Nice and contemporary. Now that azure work, which is, of course, the jolie work, depending on what part of the world you're in, is what we use to describe the cutting out of the solid sterling silver and the pattern that it creates. So it's either jolie or azure work. Um, but what you've got is that, you can see, so it's that lovely hollow shape, big, big connector point, and a whole lot of luster. 16 by 27 millimetres. Hollow pear shaped pendant, almost kind of a um, honeycomb sort of setting in that silver work. Really lovely. You could sew a loon with this. You could um, attach some sort of uh, featherweight head pins with some gemstones. I mean, you could adorn the entire front of that with beautiful gemstones, couldn't you? You certainly could. And as you say, the Sarah loon would be lovely because it would just sort of sit inside yeah, and set definitely. solidly. But I'm wondering also if you could do that little nifty trick with the nail varnish and I create don't know what that stained is, but tell wind. me what that is. Well, if you have um, smaller apertures in lattice work like yeah. this, um, if you're steady of hand, you can take a nail varnish and layer it over the top, take the brush sideways, and it creates like a stained glass oh, effect. Wow. You do need quite a steady hand. Uh, I've, I've not been able to successfully achieve it, but it's worth an idea. Yeah. Worst case scenario, you can wipe it off and your pendant's intact okay. because it's the solid yeah, metal. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's gorgeous, though. Lovely I idea. Love Lovely idea. Um, so we've got just the one coming to you. With over two grams of solid sterling silver and a lovely big bale. Okay, collectors straight in and checking out already. $7.95. You're going to, aren't you? You're going to at that price. If you got our chain already, so if you got the popcorn chain already with the heart clasp, so say the heart clasp goes at the back, you've got a large, large, large bale there. 
Now, hanging that off a beautiful, solid, stunning silver chain is going to look amazing, isn't it? That will look fantastic. I'd be tempted to buy two, go back to get the crystal earring Hooks. Yeah, love the idea. Perhaps actually. cut the bail out, reuse it somewhere else. If yeah. you cannily cut it, you can kind of upcycle that in another way. Yeah, uh, and, and then, then just hang those. Through. That's a really good idea. Let's have a look at that. I think they'd be beautiful. Yeah, lovely idea. So you'd take the solid stunning silver bail off, mm -hmm. and obviously you wouldn't throw that because, of course, it is uh, quite substantial. And then you would pop. Yes, love that idea. And I think uh, the, the way that the bale is sat in that fashion, you, if you were to saw cut that, you could then resolder or press it, or if, yep. if that's not within your skill set, pop it for melting and recycling. I think that's a look. They would be very. I can imagine seeing that in a, in a you know really contemporary jewellers with the. Uh... They work well together mm. because you've got that swoosh on the front of the earring finding that kind of just sits so neatly. Yeah, it does indeed. Lends itself, doesn't it? It doesn't mm. detract from the uh, from that pendant at all. Do make sure that you're checking out and confirming as soon as you can. Dawn, well done. Coach in Wiltshire, multi-buying. And in Worcestershire, well done indeed to you, my lovely Susan. Congratulations, anonymous collectors. Well, well done. So, we've still got... Oh, are these ready to go? As they are. Fab. Okay, so these are shepherd's hooks with your solid stunning silver, little baubles of silver, just suspended off the bottom, ready to wear, ready to go. That's quite festive, but you can wear that any time of yeah, the year, can not you? Absolutely, yeah. I love the plain and simple look, but you could wear these as little Christmas bauble earrings at this time of the year, couldn't you? You could uh, Four mil for the solid stunning silver drop. Four mil for that solid stunning silver. Oh, 800 6 4 6 5 5. 30 day money back guarantee, even with earrings and earring findings. Really important that you know that. Do make sure that you're checking out and confirming as soon as you can on this one. 0800 644 655. Multi buy to your heart's content. Under five pounds for your solid stunning silver shepherd's hooks. Now that is soldered on. However, you could open that up and remove that and use them for a sort of your other, if you wanted to sort of suspend more on there, for example, like gemstone tassels or even the silk tassels from the end of our strands or whatever, you absolutely could do that, your own designs. So that does actually open and you could take that bauble of silver off or add to it. Four ninety five on your screen. Right, now when we come back, from the show, we, we are literally in the next 60 minutes you've got 60 minutes with us and then we're going off air at eight o'clock tonight because we're all dropping dead like flies with the lurgy so um, i will be joining gem and we'll be going through the kit we've got a, a couple of sort of small little soups on demos for you and a heck of a lot of gorgeous jewelry to get through so please do make sure you're joining us on the other side of this And I'm Emma. And I'm, and I'm Kim. Kim. <laughs> <laughs> Merry, Christ Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Yay. Thank you for coming. Thank you for a great year. Thank you for coming. <laughs> Thanks for coming. That's it, we're done. Thanks for buying yeah. all the jewellery. Jewelry Maker course gift vouchers are now available. You can choose from a bronze, silver or gold voucher. Each voucher is worth a different amount that entitles you to put towards a course of your choice. For more information, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. bringing you a rhyme. Oh my goodness, it's Christmas time! If you want deals, have no fear. We're all here with the Christmas cheer. Bringing you deals as big as a goose. Now it's your turn. Go on, Bruce. Absolutely not. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! If you're looking for the perfect gift this year, then choose the Jewelry Maker gift voucher. Available in £10 and £50 denominations. Contact us now on 0800 644 655 and give the gift of choice this Christmas. 
Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Oh, we went the whole way. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Merry Christmas! Owning a strand of genuine gemstones is always exciting, but being able to use it in your handcrafted jewellery, then passing it on to its new owner with proof of its authenticity is even more incredible. Why not add one of our printed authenticity cards to your order and share that same feeling with your customers? You can also access online authenticity certificates for items you have previously ordered by looking at your order history on your account details. The certificate gives you valuable information about your purchase and is your guarantee of quality and peace of mind from Jewelry Maker. Merry Christmas! <laughs> Merry Christmas to each and every oh, sorry, single. I wasn't ready. Okay, so we're all going to so, say. Merry yeah, Christmas. well, it's not my fault that the microphone. You were looking. Uh, you, nobody okay. told me. Okay, 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 okay. okay, okay. okay. okay we're I'm all free. Gonna... I'm free. Merry Christmas to camera. Yeah? Okay. okay. One, okay. two, three. Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas to camera! <laughs> Merry Christmas from the Cute Little Late Show. <laughs> Put it back on now. <laughs> Hang on a second. It won't stand it, up. It, mm. It's being wicked. It's got itself in a twist. You know, only just I've dropped this iPad twice already today. You know, only just think, oh, this is why I have phones that are shockproof. Absolutely, I'm very clumsy. I have a, a cover around my phone that I can drop from an aeroplane and it would still bounce. Apparently, nice. nice. Who knew? I'm not going <laughs> to give it a try though. Hi, welcome back. Uh, last hour of the late show. I'm joining Jen because we are going to be going through uh, the mini demos. I'd like you to look at the jewelry first, if that's okay. There is so much. <laughs> You've made copious amounts. I mean, this is just these are kits that just keep on giving. Oh, there was lots to work with. It's all good. And you have worked it. Look at all of these. Absolutely good. Look at this. Ten rings. Uh, tremendous looking rings as well, it's got to be said. Outstanding. And then we've got the head comb, we've got these such generously laden shell pearl pieces. There were lots and lots on the strands, mm. just so much to work with, it was a, a really delightful kit. Oh my goodness me. Mm. Um, let's go through what you're getting first. So um, we'll bring you the Swarovski portion of the kit first. Uh, is that the rondelles, the, the bicones we want to go through first? Oh, no, the big ones. Okay, yeah, I've got them here, yeah. Oh my god, that is amazing. It was my favourite one. It's absolutely incredible. Oh my goodness <laughs> me. I mean, they're all stunning in their own right and for different reasons. Oh my goodness, okay. Let me just show you these. I'm going to start with one that we'll have all seen before. Okay, which is your... Aurora Borealis. You know the Aurora Borealis. You know the, the colours that it exudes by now. So this is the pear stone 30 by 20. It's the Aurora Borealis Crystal Swarovski pear. Okay, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Does look quite exceptional. So that's the one. Then we move to... Oh, my goodness. <laughs> look at this for an array of rainbow colour. So we then got for you the, uh, and it is a beauty, you know, you've got here the Paradise, I'm assuming this is the Paradise Shine, yeah? I believe so. Paradise Shine, Crystal Paradise Fancy Cushion, 27 by 18. Oh my goodness me, that is quite outstanding. Then, uh, this Siam hmm. is <laughs> a joy to even look at. It's like looking at the fine, it's like looking at the ruby that Richard Burton gave to the late Dame Elizabeth Taylor. Oh, that makes me feel a bit emotional. Oh, bless you. It is a beaut though. It really is. This is an octagon fancy stone, curved back Siam, 18 by 13, and the colours are 
absolutely mesmerizing. They are absolutely astounding. Ben, look at this. I've never seen <laughs> this next Swarovski before. Come and see this color. This is a joy. Absolute joy. This is your long classic oval fancy indicolite color stone. Now, I've seen some indicolite in my time. <laughs> I've seen some exceptional indicolite in my time. <laughs> and I have seen some poor indicolite in my time. <laughs> but what I will say is that this shows off some of the best indicolite that I've ever seen. It imitates it. And it's amazing, isn't it? It's just astounding. I've just fallen completely in love with this mm. colourway. Mm. Mm. So those are your four big Swarovskis. Now, when you see these, they are in the bottom four pieces that Gem has put together for us with regard to all of the rings that she has made. So they're in the bottom four pieces. <gasps> mm, 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 mm. Gorgeous. Also, with the Sarossis, we do need maybe to give them a little bit of a buff. Hashtag just saying. Uh, we've then got for you, um, you've got three metres, 1.5. Oh, sorry, no, sorry, my darling. Okay, sorry. Okay, thank you, my lovely. Okay. £21.30 is on your screen for your Swarovskis. £21.30. I've got to say, the drama of all of those, I mean, surely, just for some of those larger ones, you'd be paying more than that for just the one ring. I'm, I'm fairly sure that they do come up pretty... Yeah, yeah absolutely. Pretty close to that. <laughs> Look at those. Apologies if there are thumbprints. Oh, do you know what? We haven't got any uh, jewellery cloths in here, so it's not your fault. <laughs> we do need to invest in some. That is a definite. They look tremendous. £21.30 on your screen. Tremendous drama in all of those. Second part, then, is your wire. So this is uh, three metres of your 1.5. So you've got lovely structure with these. Incredible structurability, yes. So that's your 1.5. You've then got 10 metres of your 0.4. You've got, as in fact, you've got 20 metres of your 0.4. And then you've got your 10 metres of your 0.8. So the wire part of the kit that you've got to create all of those beautiful different looks coming on your screen next. 0800 1280. Should be. Oh, okay. Taking that a little bit lower for you tonight. Lovely stuff. 0800 644 655. Jewelrymaker.com, 5.95. 5.95 on your screen. That's for all the wire. I think that's fantastic. Plus, you've got the 1.5 gauge, which is really lovely because we don't often see the 1.5. No, you don't. It's amazing. Mm. Fantastic for your talks and also for your bangles. You don't have to work Beautiful. too difficult uh, to a difficult level with it. They're amazing. So with this part, obviously, mm -hmm. you've used the Swarovskis in the four rings, but then you've yes. also used some of the wire just to show people how, of course, we can accommodate and use the wire, yes. of course, in just simple wire rings as well. Absolutely. Yeah, you, lovely You have stuff. to kind of, when you get that um, quality and quantity of wire, it's worth just sort of burning mm. through as much as you can to see that there are other options and if you've got a little bit left on the reel it's yeah, not going to lovely. need to sit there make things with it <laughs> um, now we both have fallen in love with the indicolite color Swarovski oh yes um, I have to say my second favorite then is the Siam I love what you've done with the Siam in the uh, ring design oh thank absolutely you absolutely love it Looks, it looks like a very expensively set ruby. It looks beautiful. It is such very a dramatic. beautiful combination with the wire colour as well. It just really works. Does, doesn't it? Absolutely fab. So, are we, Tom? Are we? Are we seeing a small demo from Gem now, and then we'll move on to the next? Get fabulous, my right. darling. Thank you. <coughs> Sorry, you will have to excuse me because obviously I have. Um, I've been with you since one o'clock um, and we're with you till eight, but it means that I haven't had a chance to sit down and prep with Tom and Jem to know what we're doing. Mm -hmm. What are you going to show us, my darling? What I thought we could do is look at how to make the cradle that the Indicolite Colour Swarovski Crystal mm. sits inside. Lovely. Very similar technique that I've used before to wrap that into position insofar as we would use a 0.8 millimetre gauge to go over the front 
round the framework and then underneath. So you create a front safety net and a back safety net using a single piece of wire. And all I've done, as you can see there, is, is kind of shaped and swelled back and forth. And mm. that's what keeps the ring in position. Fab. We have seen that before. So what we're going to look at is creating a cradle using a 10 inch length of the 1.5 millimeter gauge wire. Okay, lovely. I'm gonna just spin this round for everybody to see the back of the Indicolite Swarovski as well. Must stress that it is Indicolite color. Okay, not an actual Indicolite. Swarovskis are man-made. Just need to make sure that we reiterate that. That is mesmerising. Let's see what you're doing with it then, my lovely. Wonderful. Okay, well, this is what the cradles will look like. So I've just prepared a couple for you uh, <coughs> to show you what it looks like uh, before you drop the crystal into position and start wrapping. There is a little variation in the size, and that's just to show you that you don't have to be perfectly precise. So the first thing I'm going to do is to start off by wrapping twice around a wooden mandrel to get that shank form. So I'm just going to pop these out of the way and bring in, as I say, it's around about 10 inches of wire and we're going to wrap that firmly around a wooden ring mandrel. Now if you're making to size, this ring fits to size. So you would choose the position on the, your mandrel of choice which was if you're making for a size M, you would make it on the size M. Sometimes you have to make it slightly larger than you expect. So we're going to cross that over. So we've got a fairly equal length of wire sitting over the front there. Mm -hmm. And we're going to continue to bring these around until they completely cross. And what we're aiming to do on the back is to get them to sit. They don't have to be 100% side by side. But if it's symmetrical, then that's a bonus because it will sit neater on the finger. So bringing that back up to position, we're just going to put a little bit of warmth through the wire just by drawing the thumb and forefinger across that and removing the mandrel from position to begin with. Now, the first thing that we're going to do is to offer our crystal into position to try and get in our mind, and you can see my lovely fingerprint, so sorry, the approximate size that we're looking to cradle within this design. So let's pop that out again for the moment. And the first thing to do, if I just show you that sideways, they've gone in a pretty much straight line across the top of the shank. And we're going to just draw that up, not at completely 90 degrees, but it, I guess at around about that, that sort of level, you can see what the line would be. It's around about 45 degrees from the flat line. Now we're going to need to do the same on the far side, but to make sure that we're going to safely encapsulate that ring in the cradle, we're just going to offer that in and give ourselves a visual gauge of where we think that next bend should happen. So I'm just going to pull that up slightly, come in tightly with the bent chain nose pliers and get that same sort of effect going on. Now at the moment that would be quite a stabby ring, so best not stop there. <laughs> Again, we're just going to drop the crystal into position, making sure that that fits between those two sideways facing wires. And you can see that that's going to form the center of the cradle quite nicely. Mm -hmm. So once you've got those semi uprights, what we're going to do is to try and create this upright line going off in one direction <coughs> and me. on the far side going down. So on, at the moment, the way I'm holding the ring, we've got the lower wire underneath wire is over here on the right. So we want that to come this way, but we want it to do it a couple of mil away from the shank of the ring. So if you can see, I'm holding that thusly, you need quite a firm grip and you'll see how that sits now coming away from the shank of the ring. Okay, so if I twist that around, you can see we lift away at that sort of 45 degrees and then we shoot off on the same side that that wire is sitting on the shank. Exactly the same on the far side. So we're going to just hold the ring in position and give that a firm shove. <laughs> I know, you don't need to be delicate. You're working with 1.5 mil gauge wire. Yeah, it's very, it's, uh, it's, it's a good, it seems to be a good wire to it's work with. It's a very with. firm wire. Mm. So we're just going to straighten those up. We want them to be like opposite tram lines. And let's offer that crystal back into position to ensure that it will fit, not at an angle, but in a straight mm. line mm -hmm. across the shank of the ring. There are some designers who work with their stones on uh, a different oh, polarity, want angle? which is mm. fine. If that's what you want to do, do that. But for this instance, we want them to be tram lines. So take the crystal back out of position, keeping in your mind's eye the approximate distance 
to either end. Now I'm going to use some bale making pliers every time, every time I forget the name of this tool. <laughs> it's just like some <laughs> form of madness. I can't do it. You got it then though. These. <laughs> So we're not working to an exact size on the bale makers, but we're going to use them to create a curvature on the end. And you can see I'm moving the shank of the ring down into position and then starting to bring the wire around. Now, I think the middle one is about eight and a half millimetres, something like that, which hopefully will give us an idea of how that's going to sit. Now you can see at the moment, what I've done is I've sat that too far over on one side, so it's too far in that direction. So what we would need to do is just prise that open and take another bite of the cherry, come back in with that central section and bend that round again, just using your thumb to create that finished section. Now, the crux of this is the simplicity. Where the wire that I've used to create the first half of the cradle meets with the wire which we haven't touched yet, we're just going to simply cut it. Now I'm going to use some flush cutters and I'm going to line them up so that the flush side is what we're going to leave behind mm -hmm. and the cut side is the section yep. that we're removing. If you have a burr cup or a deburrer, just giving that a quick spin might be handy and then it's less likely to catch. All we would do on the other side is the exact okay, same lovely. thing. That gives you a little cradle into which you can sit your crystal. Now that will wiggle about until you lay over with the 0.8 millimeter gauge. All you would do to complete the design, take a section of wire, maybe 10 to 12 inches long, wind around a couple of times on one of the uprights where we don't have a cut. So you can see cut side, uncut side, wind twice around here and then start coming over as your heart desires over the top of the crystal wrap once underneath so we're forming a safe cradle underneath at the same time as forming a pretty attractive yeah. cradle over the top as you can, can see we grab there it, actually and absolutely just, be fab i don't want to put my hand in the yeah, shot go, no no that's a still <laughs> you're all right my lovely super duper there we go smashing i just wanted just to be able to show so you've got the framework at the back here and then you've wrapped the slighter, uh, the lighter gauge wire. Yes. And taken that, so that gives it support at the front, but also then it proper nets it in at the back, doesn't Absolutely. it? Absolutely. And I finished off just with a quick swirl around a couple of times to make that fit and sit. And it's very comfortable. Oh, it's lovely. And oh, a it's really a little easy. bit lovely. It's a really easy design as well. So if you're new to wire work, give it a go. Get that 1.5 mil gauge. Gorgeous. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. Loads of you with that in your basket. It's not yet checked out. Please go for mm, it and check it out. Beautiful. Definitely. Thank, Thank you, Thank my you lovely. very much. Now, second kit comes to you straight away because, of course, we are uh, a little bit short of time for you tonight. We've got another, what, about 40 minutes left mm -hmm. of tonight's show. <coughs> Excuse me. So, this is a two-part kit. We're bringing you uh, two... Gosh, my goodness beautiful colors of your shell pearls now what this brings is perfection of size calibration and uniformity of color which means that the designs that uh, Jem has been able to make for us tonight um, really I mean they scream people like Pierre uh, Cardin for example you know you could walk into sort of your house of Fraser your John Lewis and see very very similar beautiful designs um, and shell pearls will be what you see in these big department stores um, we've got the 10, uh, so let me just go through the, the beautiful um, pearls for you first. So you've got the pale pink shell rounds in a 4 mil and a 12 mil. They're both 38 centimetres. Then you've got the ivory shell pearl plain rounds in a 6 and a 10 millimetre. Now you are getting, so you get the pearls and also you are also getting the uh, two packs, you're getting 100 featherweight gold plated rose gold plated it says approximately 100 pieces so is it that just in the one pack so you're getting 200 amazing 200 featherweight head pins plus then you're getting 10 meters of your 0.4 rose color wire and you're getting uh, 10 meters of your 0.8 rose gold colored wire as well so all of that that i can't get over the fact that getting 100 200 mm. rather 
head pins. No wonder you're able to go to town on them. Absolutely. Beautiful. Yes. <laughs> Beautiful stuff. So you've got your wire in the uh, point 0.4 and the point 0.8. At 10 metres of each, plus then your featherweight head pins. Uh, the featherweight head pins that we've got here as well, they are, doesn't say the size of them and length of them, are they a seven or a five? They're a five, are they? They're very they generous. are not. They are a 6.5. So there we go. They're a 6.5. Uh, amazing value. Plus with, with all four strands and the wire, and 200 featherweight head pins. That's an absolutely amazing deal. Good, good call. Thank you very much. Gorgeous. And, and so much jewellery out of it, though. Oh, definitely. If I just um, tilt the Santa Santa's hat, hat back ever so slightly, you can see that there's so much that you can do with them. On the pale pink neck piece that we're looking at now, I used both of the sizes of the shell pearls on the head pins and there's plenty of head pin left so you really can go to town if you want to do them individually or you can sort of bundle them up as they have done here and also then there's there's plenty of Swarovski and of the shell pearl left mm. over to just sort of enhance the neck peak up just towards the that, collarbones yeah that lovely embellishment gorgeous all ties in beautifully so that's on your screen for 21.95 now we've just mentioned the Swarovskis uh, so we've got your Swarovski uh, bicones coming up and there is so much sparkle here isn't there there really is oh, oh. my goodness okay so uh traditional uh bicones that we've got for you are the aurora borealis you know it you've seen it in those beautiful large moments as well so you've got your bicones in the four mil i think and then the two mil i'm just going to double check that five mil for the okay hang on two seconds so in the crystal we've got a four and a three yeah so four mil and a three mil, and then we've got the blush rose in a five mil and a four mil. That's an awful lot of Swarovski here. Have we got two packs? So one pack, so one pack of the five, one pack of the four, 192 Swarovskis. Thank you, my darling, 192 Swarovskis. Look at the sparkle. I love those rose colors are beautiful, aren't they? They're stunning. It's such a luxurious feeling, mm -hmm. classically elegant color. Definitely. Sparkle-tastic coming through these. And those Aurora <laughs> Borealis are cut in the light like rainbows. Beautiful. Oh, love that recording. That's amazing. Isn't it just? Prices on your screen, 16 dollars 192 192 Swarovski bicones there. Five mil, two packs of four mil, and one pack of your three mil. Enjoy those. Right, my lovely. There are a heck of a lot of head pins <laughs> in this kit, and clearly a heck of a lot of gemstones for you to have been able to use, what, nearly all 200 of them? Yes, I used every single one. <laughs> every last one made. Which Amazing. Why it didn't sort of stop. Fab, 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 fab. So, what are you going to show us, my lovely? The basic technique for making the cluster style design, which, if you've not seen it before, is, will be a real eye-opener. One of my favourite pieces to make is to take a box of gemstones that have been left over, all sorts of odds and ends. Mm, you've mm. got two or three of this, one or two of that, or, or from a, a grab bag yep, of assorted yep, items. Yep. You make a cluster necklace with all of these individual things and you can talk to your customers at a craft fair about every single one of those Lovely gemstones. Idea. It's a really real nice. good yeah. speaking point. Lovely idea. Can I have the bubble bracelet to look the at, larger please, one. my darling? Yes, please. Certainly. Oh, my goodness me. No, oh, I know. I'm like a, <laughs> a proper magpie today. <laughs> Just stealing the jewellery. This is beautiful. That lovely, look at that. And it really is a very easy design and it's something that you can do like a, a little mass production mini workshop Gorgeous. whilst you're watching the telly, catching up on your soaps, watching jewellery maker, whatever well, it is exactly. that you're doing. <laughs> exactly, right, over to you my darling. Okay, there are two ways that you can do this. One way is simply to coil up the end of your head pin and the other way is to do a wrapped loop. Now if you're using a bracelet and it's not going to see a huge amount of action. You can just do the coiled version. <coughs> it's not necessarily going to be having all the heavy weight attached okay. to it. Yep. Also for earrings, I tend to use the wrapped loop in case it gets caught in the hair. Okay. So two different demos, um, but the, the, the theory is the same. You can thread it onto a piece of wire 
or you can thread it onto your standard beading thread, okay, as lovely. you prefer. So that's what it all looks like when it clusters together, and you'll see the photographs that lovely Leah has taken for you, which show the different ways at which you can apply those designs. Fabulous. So I'm going to pop that down, and I'm going to bring in a couple of pieces. It's a little shell pearl travelling fast across the desk <laughs> there. Okay, so it's very simple. Easy thing to do is just to warm up your head pin, give it a little bit of a straighten out, pop the piece that you're choosing to use. In this case, I'm going to use one of the 6mm ivory shell pearls and one of the blush rose 4mm, I'm going to say. Now, if you've not seen how to do a wrapped loop, then this is for you. It's going to be something that you'll use in a lot of your jewellery making. So I'm going to come in quite close to where the end of the stones yeah. are sitting and give us a lovely right angle. Yeah. So I go quite tight in. There's probably about one and a half to two millimetres of space between the crystal and the bend. I'm then going to put down my bent chain nose pliers and come in with a pair of round nose pliers. Now, if you're using a heavy gauge wire, as we had yeah. in the earlier yeah. kit, you will need to go a little bit further along your round nose pliers to make a larger circle. So that's what we'll demonstrate how to do just here. So I'm just going to nibble that into position. And these are the featherweight head pins, which are so useful for some of your finer graduated strand gemstones as well as we're working with today the crystals and the shell pearls yeah the lovely thing about them is that they do even on our genuine gemstones the drill holes even the smallest rondelles they still go through which is really lovely it, it is ever so useful but it is going to be particularly easy with the shell pearls and the, and the Swarovski of course absolutely and if you find uh, that you have gemstones that are quite diminutive in themselves and they slide off the end you can always use uh, like a little spacer bead on the end between the ball okay. head which is one of the reasons that the blush necklace came into fruition uh, because some of the head pins could potentially have gone through the larger of the shell pearls so we've given ourselves a lovely little loop now on the end so what I would tend to do is just give that a bit of a nibble like so and that strengthens that round form now it's not imperative but it is something that's quite useful to know that a little bit of gentle work hardening will keep that form more strong for you so once you've got your circle that you're looking for here the loop I'm going to take the tail around and just draw that around once and twice I would say as many times as you can possibly fit into that gap to give yourself a nice secure loop. Now you can give that a bit of a push so that the coil goes up towards the loop and away from the crystal. So we've wrapped there three times, which I think is more than sufficient to give us a nice secure wrapped loop. I'm just going to hold onto that end of the wire, which is enough to create a section of rosary linking if you wanted to do that as an addition. The other bracelet, if I can just pop that into vision, yeah, has got rosary linking. I chose to do this with the wire, but you can do this with the residue of your head pins if you don't want that to go to waste. So again, the flush side of your flush cutters to the end of the bit that we're keeping. And then we will put this piece of wire to one side and save that for later. And just as a little finishing off piece, we'd scooch that end piece of that wire around just so that it sits nice and neat. And you can sit there and you can make any combination of all mm, your leftover lovely. bits and pieces of gemstone or crystals, as you prefer. Add those on. The other one, super quick, super simple. So I pop this out the way, grab another head pin, slide a shell pearl into position. Let me give that... Ooh. <laughs> so sorry, it's come to life. I do apologise. <laughs> So draw the shell pearl yeah. down to the bottom and very simply trim to about an inch. Take your round nose pliers and this is the simplest and quickest device. Turn, turn, oh, okay. turn, so just turn. all the way down. Once you get to the end, what we're going to do is give that a little twist so that it sits evenly. Remove... You know not, seen, not seen that technique at all Ever since I've been... No. Wow. Okay. Only just literally wrapped loops. So that's okay. great. That's a lovely way so to see something different. super speedy. Nice and, and neat, I have to say. I, I almost prefer that. I think I do. And for the most part, that's the technique it's that I use. It's very neat. It's really easy. It's very neat, really though. Because <laughs> sometimes with a wrapped loop, it can, you know, if you, you haven't got that technique, it can look a little bit messy. That's very, very neat. Fabulous. Thank you. Gorge. Absolutely gorge.
Love, love, love. Thank you so much, sweetheart. Very, very much indeed. Get your messages in, of course, uh, any, any questions for Jen um, on any of the aspects here. I'm going to have to snudge this over, my no darling. No problem. Otherwise, I'll give that a scooch. Thank you, my lovely. Space. Otherwise, we are not going to have any space. I'm going to pop that on there so it's nice and uh, neat. Right then. Um, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. <coughs> yes, I've got them here. I've got them here. Can I scoot that over to you as well, Absolutely, my lovely? And I'm going to need this mat. Thank I'll you, my love. Take that out right of the then. Thank you so much. Uh, super. Let's bring you. Now, these are diamond cut. These are really sparkly. Now, they're a crisscross diamond cut. Have a look at these. Now, they're lovely. It's not. It's not as much sparkle as you'd get from a kind of faceted, sort of almost disco ball of silver, but it's lovely stuff. Now look at that. It's a lovely, very sophisticated sparkle, isn't it? Oh, it is. It's absolutely delightful. Gorgeous. It's not your paparazzi. No, it's, it's not. not your glitter ball. No. It's elegant, sort of, as, well, it's exactly what it says. It's Definitely. diamond cut look. <laughs> They are lovely. Um, I'd love to see these on the, you know, macrame bracelets. Once you've finished your, um, I always make this name up, it, a Sebastian knot. It's not a Sebastian knot at all. What's it called? The clasp, the slider clasp on the back of a macrame. I just call it a sliding knot. Yeah, one of those, that'll do. Um, no, it's not Shambhala. Um, I, it's a name, but I can't remember it. But you know, at the ends of the macrame yes. bracelet, where you need that little fit, that lovely fit, and you can get them all, all 20 of them, for two ninety five. That's Absolutely it is fab. fab. And solid stilling silver. Instead of just using your plain spacer beads at the end of a macrame bracelet, um, you do get that really beautiful Solomon's. Thank you. Solomon's knot. Just came to me. Ah, Solomon's knot. Solomon's bar, I should say. Uh, $2.95 on your screen. Amazing value for solid stilling silver with the extra added sparkle of your diamond cut. So many of you multi buying, which is brilliant to see. And that is exactly the way getting your New Year stash should be. Um, should it be under three pounds? No, but it's all right. Controversial. Well, I know, but it's all right. We, we, <laughs> like, we like to treat you here on the late show. All right, 655. Make sure that you're checking out and confirming as soon as you possibly can. Well done. Let's move on to. Oh, oh, oh look at the drama of these. Wow. Oh, my gosh. Oh, that is a strand of black spinel that's just going to keep on giving, quite frankly. The facets on these are beautiful. Are you seeing this? Come and have a look at these facets. Step facet. Look at that. That's amazing. I think somebody has really let their inner artist out. Haven't they? Beautiful Art Deco looks, fan facets coming through there, beautiful. Now these are 140 carats of black spinel, graduated faceted large nuggets. You can see the, the drama of these and the ebony jet black colour. Now very important to remember, when we talk about the Swarovskis, we talk about a Siam ruby colour. We talk about an indicolite colour. We talk about an Aurora Borealis colour, a ivory shell pearl colour. This is not colour. This is jet black spinel, the real deal. And the colour is so deep ebony black. So deep ebony black. Look at that. I mean, there's rings here. They're definitely, there are rings here, aren't there, Jen? There are oh, rings, definitely. there are earrings, there are statement pendants. A single one at the centre of a pearl necklace as a collar or as a choker, Lovely I think, idea. would be gorgeous. And really quite an edgy contemporary feel to that once you've oh, used your yes. classic pearls. Yes, definitely. Oh, with some of amazing. the copper chocolatey pearls that we sometimes yeah. are able to bring. Yeah. Gorgeous. And I love the way that Spinel takes that facet. Isn't it amazing? It's just such a beautiful, perfect, compact surface mm. that it gives you the mirror shine finish. It absolutely does. And because it's so durable, you can play with the facets of this gemstone. Very durable, very, very, very long wearing, great longevity in being able to wear it and use it and, of course, work with it. So we've gone ahead and faceted it quite, quite exuberantly, quite um, avant-garde, actually. Mm. But... 
you get to work with this in any way you want, with your wires, with your cords. You know, when you think about the different mediums that you have, because it's such a durable, beautiful gemstone, you will be able to work with this in such beautiful ways. If you've got the solid selling silver wire kit earlier, please, my goodness me, do, my, do yourself a favor, work with the spinels and the wire kit. For $9.95, isn't that amazing for all of those? That is absolutely outstanding. I mean, all that's, natural as well. What are they, 9, 10, 11? I can't even count them. There's many on there. <laughs> <laughs> Much. Many, many. Much on there. Uh, 0800 644 Drama. Something distinctive, different, unique about ev Not one of them have been cut and faceted in the same way. You've got an entire strand of individually cut, faceted and polished black spinels to play with as you wish. I like this one. They're lovely, aren't they? That twist on it is fabulous, it's isn't gorgeous. it? It's gorgeous. Absolutely stunning. With those diamond cut spaces that yeah, we they brought a moment lovely. ago. They'd be really nice. Lovely stuff. Do make sure you're checking out and confirming. Melanie Christopher, well done. Heidi, anonymous collectors, well done indeed to you. Hold those lines. Oh my goodness, Excuse me. that is astounding. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry guys. Right. Amazing. Um, I'm of the belief, and I've said this quite a few times, that if you're going to enhance a gemstone in that, not just by heat treating it, but if you're going to apply a coating to it or if you're going to um, diffuse it, it needs to be because you're either going to make it shoulder to shoulder, as beautiful as it is naturally, or you need to up your game and you need to create something that's even more beautiful. You'd be hard pushed to find garnet that reflected like this. I love the description. Isn't it amazing? It's just perfect. It is absolutely gorgeous. Now, this is diamond colour coated, so it's titanium in a diamond colour that's coated on top of garnet. Now, bear in mind, okay, your garnet's going to be really sparkly anyway because it's got the same uh, crystal structure as your diamonds. Um, what you then have is the titanium, which is incredibly durable, on top of those garnets. So garnet is a very durable gemstone anyway. But from a distance, and I know that you get, you're getting a chance to see some lovely luster, almost like deep or sort of maroon diamond effect come through there. But look at these. If you were to own purple diamonds, this is what your purple diamond would basically look like. I'm glad you're the one that said that, but it's the first thing I thought of is when it? I saw the strand. It, it's, it's quite exceptional, isn't it? It is. Really, really strongly beautiful. That's going to be a piece, I think, that you're commissioning maybe for somebody whose birthday is in January, surely. Absolutely mesmer. Look at the sparkle factor on this. It's amazing. 30 centimetre strand, 2 by 3 millimetres, garnets naturally from Rajasthan of India, 28 carats in total, coated with your titanium, slight graduation, ever so slight on the rondelles. Price about to kick in on your screen. Enjoy working with these. Six ninety five. I can't even mm. finish the sentence. It is absolutely mind blowing when you see that gorgeous. Now, when you get it home, look at it in natural daylight. Get it outside. Look at the sparkle. And again, remember that it's a titanium coating that you're getting. Now, titanium is one of the most durable and hard wearing of metals that you're going to get. And it's titanium that coats on top of those. And you look at it. You just look at the luster. You look at that beautiful moment. Of the, and it just comes alive. Six ninety-five on your screen. What would you be tempted to pair that with? Do you know, I think I would want to keep a solid bar of that and put maybe two inches in the centre of one of our slider bracelets. Oh, nice idea. In a sterling silver and in a rose gold plated sterling mm. silver. I think just seeing the two side by side would really interact differently. Yeah, lovely differently. idea, actually. You've got a rose gold chain. I do just, have a rose gold. Do you gold. mind if I see no, the metal with it? No, of course not. Not at all. Just kind of get the creative yeah. energies going. Oh, I think that looks lovely. Let's bring that in, actually, because we've got a bracelet as well. Oh, you see now. They do work. That's made my they... mind up. I would be doing that with the rose gold, I think. Lovely stuff. Do make sure that you're checking out and confirming, though. Hold those lines. Well done. Well done. Um, Marilyn, Kath, Ruth, Mary, Jill, Mena, um, Heidi, Mary, Clayton, in Bedfordshire, Hampshire. Well done. Hold those lines. Lovely stuff. <laughs> no. Not this one. 
Oh, that's that is really. lovely. This one is solid silver. I haven't got anything else rose gold apart from a cat. You know, as you do. Is this the one? Okay, my lovely. There we go. <laughs> There we go. Um, okay, so this is, oh, I don't ask. I've jammed my fingers in oh, the weights box. Oh, yes, my weights box in the gym at home. I was carrying them in from the car after teaching and jammed my fingers in the weights box. Yes, sorry. So they are a little bit wrecked. Um, anyway, so <laughs> thanks, Tom. What, what? I know, I know. But, you know, when you jam them and then they get bruised, what can you do? Um, anyway. This is rose gold on top of solid stunning silver. It's a beautiful love knot, but what you have to remember about this is that it's imitating the Russian wedding band. No, we don't have Trinity colors, but we do have the three rings interlocking together here. Now I wear this day in, day out, every day in solid stunning silver from JM on a simple 16 inch neckline piece. Now if you imagine, okay, so just popping, this onto the gold overlay chain that we had a look at a second ago with Gem. And it's got a slider mechanism, that chain, in a matter of moments as well. Oh, that's it's really lovely as really well. Really nice, isn't it? But if I just take this up to the neckline and just show you. So I wear this in the solid stunning silver on a 16 inch chain. I wear it day in, day out. I only take it off for work. And literally it sits, hang on a minute, like that. Now, my friend owns something very, very similar from Lynx of London that cost over three figures. And when she said, she said, oh, I've got the same one. I was like, no, <laughs> no, no, mine is two components from JM. Thanks ever so much. You're, but, you know, it, it's, it looks and feels the same. Did you have a moment of... I didn't tell her. Satisfaction. I just like, yes, well, <laughs> you know, perks of the job, isn't it? But this does look... Beautiful in the rose gold. It has to be, and rose gold is of the moment. It really, really is. So you're getting the interlocking links. Love, friendship, and loyalty is what those three links represent when they're intertwined. Also, infinite love. Also, of course, you've got the beautiful circle of lives going on there as well. So lots and lots and lots of sort of symbolic sort of ideas surrounding this pendant. Plus, you don't have to necessarily just use it like this. You could use it maybe... In a bracelet, so you'd have the bracelet links either side and have that linking. If I just drop that through there. $6.95 on your screen. So many of you there. Well done. Lovely to have your company. Do make sure you're checking out. Hello to Mary, hello to Kimberly, to Roof, to Anonymous Collectors. Well done indeed to you. Uh, it's a lovely, lovely component, and I really do encourage you to check it out. Uh, it's a lovely gift. It feels, it's been lovely. Feel the weight on it as well, my lovely. Oh, that it's is, a nice that's weight, gorgeous. isn't it? See, I, I would be tempted yeah, to go definitely. for. A lark's head knot either side in satin Absolutely. and just wear it on the centre like so. Definitely. You, Definitely. That would look amazing with a purple satin. It would, wouldn't it? Stand out. Make sure that you're checking out and confirming. 6 95 on your screen. Talk to the call centre. Confirm hello. Anne, well done. Anything to you. Anonymous Collectors and Deborah, well done. Hold those lines. Okay, mirror chain coming your way next. And it is a proper oh. bedazzling one. Wow. Look at that. Each of these links, and they are flat front facing and then side on. So they're not linked with just sort of jump rings. Each of those is a beautiful mirror link that suspends it in place. There is so much reflection of light here. So, so much reflection of light. It's amazing, isn't it? There's a little soundtrack in my head going pew, pew, pew. pew. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. The light hits those surface areas, and they, and it, you know, if there is ever a piece to wear for New Year's, oh, absolutely! You don't have to do anything. You don't have to add anything to nope. it. You can wear the plainest little t-shirt dress. Wear that, and you will be the centre of attention. It just works, doesn't it? Yeah, it's gorgeous. It really, really does. Absolutely gorgeous stuff. Do make sure that you are checking out and confirming though on this one, won't you? Flat mirror chain. Each of them are all links. 18 inches in length, and a price that is going to knock your socks off, to be honest with you. Solid stunning silver at $7.95. All the dazzle. And Gem is absolutely right. You don't have to do anything. You just wear this. It does all the work <laughs> for you. It attracts the light. It bounces the light back. You don't need to do anything. Excuse me. <coughs> 
all you need to do is just keep breathing while it's yes, around your neck. This is very true. And it will just move. <laughs> it will indeed. It will dance on the neckline. Oh, eight hundred six four six five five. Feel free to multi buy. Please do talk to the call centre. Confirm as soon as you can. Do make sure that you are checking out. Confirming as soon as you can, though. Talk to the call centre. Make sure that you are saying yes, yes, yes. And really do inspect it. If you're not entirely satisfied, you send it back to us. No questions asked. 30-day money-back guarantee is yours from the day that you take delivery of this. So what's that, 21st of January at this moment in time? So you've got plenty of time after the kind of, what should we say, hustle and bustle of Christmas? Mm. That's what we're going to stick with. Yes, not the chaos and the franticness. <laughs> the hustle and the bustle. <laughs> I know it's the late show, but I don't think I can say that just yet, Ad. <laughs> don't think so. Oh, we had to six four six five five. Make sure you're checking out on that. Well done. Right. Oh my gosh, I adore these. <gasps> oh, I love, oh. love, love these. I need Do them know in my life. If I put them in my ears. Oh, you'll have to keep them. Apparently so. Hmm. I didn't know that. <laughs> I like that rule. So not two pairs? No, no, sorry. Mm. They are lovely, aren't they? Beautiful. I love these. Now they are, I'm going to show you the side profile because they are very, very pretty. They're just delightful. I mean, now they are specific, I mean they are, you can't mistake them for anything else other than the rose, can you? No, not at all. It's absolutely gorgeous. Like an English D rose. Mm -mm -mm. Beautiful. I love these. Six mil that you've got for the sort of circumference there of the rose. You've got the solid sterling silver. Let me just show you the back there. Post and butterfly backs. They are really, really lovely. Um, I think if you are looking for, uh, and again, just something that you wear day in, day out, that are pretty, but not just a simple kind of almost like a um, uh, sort of, if you think about the, sort of the, the, the earrings that you get when you have your ears pierced, mm, just, just a simple stud, a plain sort of ball of silver or gold. Mm -hmm. It's just got that little bit more interest to it, isn't it? And very feminine. But really lovely. Totally inoffensive. Nobody oh, could no. be concerned about them. They're just very, very beautiful. Really beautiful. And I, I can't think of anybody of any age who would be disappointed to receive them no, as a gift. Absolutely. For Wow. <laughs> on your screen. $4.95. Do make sure that you are checking these out. They are so pretty. Um, hello to us in Wiltshire, Cheshire, Norfolk, uh, East Riding in Yorkshire, Gloucestershire, Kent, Bristol, South Yorkshire, Gwynedd, Anonymous Collectors. Well done indeed to you. Well, those of you just press your button ones. Now, you've got a 30 day money back guarantee with these. They come to you in a clear plastic bag, which has got a hygiene seal. If you open the hygiene seal, they then become non returnable. You're then unable to return them to us. If you keep that hygiene seal intact, Act, you can return them. Let's face it, you don't want to wear earrings that somebody else has tried on. Four ninety five on your screen. Four ninety five on your screen. Do make sure that you are checking out and confirming. Right at the start of the show tonight, I got a little bit giddy about the quality of this necklace. This is quite something else. It really is. I've never seen a neckline piece like this. I've not seen it at Gemporia, and I've certainly not seen it at JM. Um, now, I will say to you, I have, I, three years ago, I designed a, in fact, nearly four years ago now, I designed a charm bracelet um, for the Milano collection that was basically out of this link. And it, it, it's, we had 500, and it was on, and it was gone. Um, I've got 79 of this necklace, and that's it. 79. It's been available for pre-order. It has flown on the pre-order. Um, and it's about to be a live opportunity for you now. Um, a friend of mine has uh, an amazing Byzantine style um, necklace with a very kind of large turquoise pendant. Whenever she wears it, it's head turning, it looks amazing, it really does. But it feels amazing oh, as absolutely. well. absolutely. And, and it's one of those pieces that when I see something like that, I automatically think of her because of the way <laughs> that she carries that design and, and wears it. This is it, really quite special. I am going to, just purely because I can, just take that off the bus there for the deal of the day and I'm going to just bring this over. 
Because I want you to imagine that you're walking past one of those very, very high-end jewellers and you see this has the weight, this has the intricacy, this has the detail. That is gorgeous, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful. The chain mail work and they graduated. That's what's gorgeous about it. The link is graduated to, I think I'm right in saying, probably a three or four mil at the back, all the way down to the front of that Byzantine link. It is really lovely. Now, obviously, you know, if you've worked with, uh, you know, doing your chain mail, you will have created maybe non-graduated Byzantine chain bracelets. Have you ever tried a graduated necklace? I'm not the best at chain mail. I know two very simple weaves. And I think the thought of having to work out how to do the linking and then remembering to graduate yes. it at the right distance would reduce me to tears. So this is something that I would very much be buying <laughs> rather <Absolutely>. than making. Because <laughs> it's something that somebody would commission through perhaps Fleur, Definitely. for example, isn't it, really, with her, uh, you know, sort of chainmail expertise. Yes. Because she would understand the graduation. She would understand Absolutely. the, you know. And I'm sure, um, I can't remember off the top of my head if Byzantine is one that you can only do with certain, um, so whether it's an even or an odd size jump ring, for example. But I, I'm sure if uh, Fleur will um, sort of, you know, jump in and, and tell us when, you know, if I'm wrong. But... To be able to graduate, you can't graduate, I don't believe, some links. You're probably right. So to be able to do this, I think, is beautiful. It just means that it's weighty at the front where you want that sort of presence and then really lovely and delicate on the reverse, but beautifully made. I'm going to spin it round for you, but I'm not actually going to show you the bust at the back because it's wrecked. So <laughs> let me just show you the top part here. Look at the quality in the setting it is such a high-end superb quality piece of jewelry um what's the gram weight did you say was it 10.8 my love 10.8 grams of solid sterling silver it is beautiful um it is an 18 inch length neckline piece i think you can see there is something about this yes absolutely you could put a sort of balinese inspired pendant on here if you are wonderfully sort of working with your maybe your shibori or maybe your um your seabed embroidery or your wire framing in the silver wire that we had earlier for you a beautiful cabochon however it is that you want to work with it this is a high end luxury neckline piece it's one of the weightiest that we do and it's not just that you have to remember the work involved in putting 79 of these together 79 of these immaculate jump ring byzantine solid stunning silver chain necklaces now the price on your screen at the moment is 80 pounds and 95 pence at the moment it is the second time it's ever been on screen. It's brand new to The Late Show. And it kind of sees us out tonight, if I'm being honest with you, because it is a very, very high-end piece. I would encourage you to get this valued. I would encourage you to find out what it takes to create something like this with all those in. It's not a machine that it just kind of haphazardly put this together. You have a team of expert chain mailers who have just literally linked all of this together. You imagine asking, commissioning Fleur to make a piece of jewellery like this for you from start to finish with her expertise, with her skill, with her talent, with a lot of precious metal. Fleur's with you on Sunday, message her, you can ask her. Christmas Eve Fleur. 0800 644 655. 59.95. Amazing. Absolutely Isn't amazing. It? Yeah. We only had 79. That's it. It is a substantial piece of jewellery. It is a really intricately made, beautiful Byzantine, but also the fluidity of movement in that. There's no sort of jarring moment. It is such a fabulous high-end chain. I'm going to take it off the bust for you now. And I'm just going to show you what I mean by that. What happens when it drapes? Those, those links don't unravel. They all stay perfectly in place and in proportion. 
and they link and sit beautifully. I feel sure it's the sort of piece of jewellery that people will ask you about. Oh, absolutely. If they see you wearing it, they are likely to ask you what it is, how it was made, what you can tell them about it, where you got it from, because it's not something that you, you just see anywhere. Well, bearing in mind, OK, so if I drape this over the wrist for you here, for those of you who own a Milano bracelet that I designed about four, five years ago, that was twenty nine ninety nine for a six and a half inch bracelet. So six and a half inch bracelet was $29.99. It's an immaculate price. I stand by it every single step of the way. Then you add the graduation. You then add the fluctuation in price for your silver. You then add the extra length. My good gracious me, the price is amazing. Absolutely amazing. Enjoy a very high quality neckline piece. Tremendous. Feel that. Feel that wonderful weight. It's gorgeous, oh, isn't gosh, it? Gosh, that's amazing. That is beautiful. It really, really is. Do make sure you're checking out and confirming. It really is gorgeous. Make sure that you're holding those lines. It's a beaut. You've got a 30-day money-back guarantee on that one. 30-day money-back guarantee. Now, we had this in the solid sterling silver. It flew out of the door earlier. We've got the last of stock on that rose gold for you now. Straight into it. No messing around for you. Let's bring you... That magnetic clasp. It's lovely, isn't it? I love it when it does that. I know, it's fab, isn't it? <laughs> Small things and all that. I know. No, it is great. It's a really lovely, strong clasp as well. Uh, we had that in the neckline earlier in this show. We had the bracelet in the, sp in the plain silver in the mid-show. You have got the last chance in the rose gold. How much rose gold has flown out of the door today? In our deal of the day today, the rose gold was the most popular and it has sold out. So there's the bracelet with the popcorn links in the rose gold. Very pretty, isn't it? It's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Really pretty. Now you've got, and I'll just show you again where the heart clasp is. So you've got the magnets on the inside. You can also see you've got these two little catches that literally grip together as well. Pop that into place. And you do get a lovely little sound yeah, just you get a little saying, snap, don't yes. you? Yes. That it's all in place. All done. <laughs> uh, if you wear a pacemaker, of course, uh, I think this is probably going to be too strong for you, so please don't wear a magnetic clasp. Price on your screen, 15 95 18 carat rose gold overlay on top of solid stunning silver for that price. Beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Such a smooth finish on the heart as well, isn't it? Such a yeah, lovely shape. It really is. It really is. Now then, tomorrow morning you've got carol tom's back in as well bless you tom uh, and mark smith tomorrow morning as well uh, he's with xena on christmas day as well so don't forget about that uh, the alarm clock deal head pins featherweight head pins a uh, hundred pack under five pounds coming away at quarter past nine so we just had those gorgeous rose gold ones of course tonight in the kit you'll get the silver colorway in the alarm clock deal tomorrow morning when are you back with us i'll be back with carol on the 27th of december on the morning show after christmas then. after christmas after christmas, after christmas. well in that case then thank you so much and merry christmas my merry darling christmas to are you, you? For Christmas? Yep, yeah, we're <clears throat> uh, locking the front door, barricading the hatches and pretending to be out. <laughs> Festive. <laughs> <laughs> Will you be having a Christmas dinner, though? Oh, yes. Oh, that's, yes. Right, that's fine. Thank you, team, for the last two hours. Thank you, Tom. Very, very much, my lovely. Thank you for my Mary Poppins cup. Very, Aww. very, very touched about that. Uh, Leah, my lovely, thank you as well. Thanks, Adam. <laughs> and thanks, Adam, in the gallery as well. Listen, tomorrow morning we open our doors at 8 a.m. Sorry for the, uh, the sort of closing the doors at 8 o'clock tonight, but everybody's dying like flies. Carol joins you tomorrow. I'm sure she's fit as a fiddle from 8 o'clock. And don't forget that alarm clock deal, quarter past 8. Take care.
Welcome to Jewelry Maker. We are part of the Immediate Media family. Immediate Media is a fast-growing multimedia platform company who operates some of the most loved brands across the UK. Our brands range from our other shopping TV channel, The Sewing Quarter, to our very successful magazines, such as Simply Knitting, Molly Makes, and The Radio Times. We work incredibly hard to inspire you and bring you lots of exciting ideas and projects. So whatever your creative needs, you know that our crafting family will be there for you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. bringing you a rhyme. Oh my goodness, it's Christmas time! If you want deals, have no fear. We're all here with the Christmas cheer. Bringing you deals as big as a goose. Now it's your turn. Go on, Bruce. Absolutely not. Merry Christmas. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas! Merry Christmas! Tash. New Year's Tash. Um, how are we? Good morning, good morning. Four sleeps to go, isn't it? Four sleeps to go. Now, I've got something to tell you today. We have got these as our deal of the day. Yeah, that's me. Oh, thanks. Who puts that in, Danny or Claire? Who does that out of Danny and Claire? Is it you? Oh, bless him. He likes to remind me who I am. He says, you've got to that age, I have to remind you who does. <laughs> who you are. Um, we got these today. Now these are brand spanking new, beautiful heart lockets, which we've, which we've popped on the Takali chain there for you, but it doesn't come with a chain. But um, I've just got to mention, it's alarming. It might be four sleeps until Father Christmas arrives down your chimney if you've been good, but also it's seven weeks or slash 55 days till Valentine's Day. So we thought jewellery makers worth getting ahead for Valentine's beautiful gifts you could start getting them early couldn't you because you have to think ahead don't you as a jewelry maker so 55 days that's it till valentine's day so if you want to get those we've got them in the rose gold and we've got them in the sterling silver that's your deal of the day coming up for you at 11 o'clock this morning so that's for three hours time if you're not on our on our london greenwich meetup um but now usually as a deal of the day we normally have quite a few we have normally have hundreds if not over a thousand i've got a hundred today that's it first come first served all right, so good luck. Um, right then, so we've also got some cheeky, um, cheeky star buys, rather beautiful. We've got most, oh, we've got the lovely Fleur on the show today. So we've got some fantastic uh, pearl knotting, pearls, pearl silk for knotting, very popular. Um, and we've got lots of pearls as well. So if you want to learn pearl knotting and, and pearls and silk threads, we've got all those today. And as we've got the uh, chain mail, queen herself obviously we've got jump rings but we've got jump rings in different colors now these pearls are natural they go into a very naughty price point i'm not allowed to say they're going under 10 but they are and um they're natural 